A recent report published by the Auditor General's Department reveals that as at the end of December 2017, the State Printing Corporation had an unclaimed debtor balance of 147 million rupees. Since its establishment in 1968, the State Printing Corporation was successful in generating profits throughout the years. However, by 2017, the state institution had gradually declined to a loss-making position. The recent report issued by the Auditor General's Department recognizes the increase in salary expenses and short-term loan interest as the main factors aggravating the state institution's declining financial performance. The increase in employees' cost at the state institution was a result of the 2015 budget proposal which required the increase of salaries for the staff of 715 employees. Furthermore, when implementing the said budget proposal, it had been estimated that 140 million rupees, 161 million rupees and 185 million rupees would be incurred by the corporation additionally for the payment of salaries in the years 2018, 2019 and 2020 respectively. The Auditor General also points out that as at the 31st of December 2017, there were staff in excess of the approved cadre level at the primary level in the institution. As at the end of 31st December 2017, this institution had bank loans amounting to 495 million rupees. As of 2017, this short-term loan portfolio had increased by more than 51% to 746 million rupees. The interest that had to be incurred as a result of this loan portfolio had also increased by 42% over the three-year period to 89 million rupees. It was further observed that the liquidity position and the return on capital employed of the corporation remained deteriorating, thus creating an uncertainty on the going concern of the institution. The Auditor General in his report also points out that as at the end of December 2017, there was a debtor balance of 527 million rupees at the state institution. Now, 28% of this 527 million rupees was resulting from transactions that took place between 2009 and 2013. Now what's interesting is that this 28% uh, of the 527 million rupees which amounts to 120, uh, 147 million rupees cannot be claimed due to various reasons. The Auditor General points out that three of the main reasons as to why this amount cannot be claimed is because during 2013 as well as the years before that the state corporation had failed to prepare proper invoices to their credit customers they had failed to establish agreements with their credit customers and the, the death of certain debtors the auditor general also reports that action had not been taken either to recover or write off debtor balance of 147 million rupees this 147 million rupees of irrecoverable debt still exists in the institution's accounting books and has been so for more than five years